वेलकम स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू ज्ञान ज्योति ऑनलाइन क्लास क्लास सेवन इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट चैप्टर सिक्स दिस इज गोइंग टू हॉट जस्ट ए लिटिल बीट द लेसन द पोइट डिस्क्राइब्स अबाउट हिज टूथ एक या प्रॉब्लम ऑफ टीथ एंड डू नो देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पेन एंड वन ऑफ द पेन इज द टीथ पेन a very painful scenery and what the poet feels about this teeth pain he explains here very beautifully so let's discuss this poem briefly and we understand how the poet goes through the painful sight okay so now one thing i less i like less than most thing is sitting in a dentist chair with my mouth wide open i i means right the poet is telling one thing what is the thing that he sits in a dentist chair yeah the different type of chair and where the poet sit in the dentist chair to whatever pose position open his uh, mouth in the, that position that is very much something different one thing i like less than most thing yeah most thing is sitting very special thing what in dentist chair with my mouth wide open and that i will never have to do it again yeah i will not to do i uh, have to do it again is a hope that i am against hope open yeah hope against hope or happen yes here h o p e n open is rhyming with the word open that's why hope is used as open hope against hope ya yeah? asha ke virodh mein asha hai ya yeah? means jo asha ki hai shayad wo nirasha hai you what the poet thinks that i will be relax i will be very means comfort in this place something what he thinks that is not means uh, successful that's why the poet speaks like that is clear because some tortures tortures me some painful ex- experience what type of painful experience are physical and some are mental pain are two types physical in bodily mental means in my mind suppose someone scolds you or you uh, anybody comments you then you have the mental pain suppose you fall down with a physical pain some act hs x some swollen body that is the pain in the body so here the poet says that uh, torture two types what are physical and mental but the one that is both is dental yeah here suppose uh, in a in a problem a so headache it is one of the bodily pain okay but here this dental is the physical and mental both pain yeah you will suffer a lot physically treat mentally in the sitting in the chair you will very suffocate how the doctor treats how very bad way doctor treats the patient that that's why the poet says this is torture is not only physical but also mental two types it's clear so it is hard to be self possessed with a jaw digging into your chest yeah it is hard to be self possessed means in your good position you cannot sit like that your jaw in the chest position you cannot sit like that you have to hang off yeah you are not self possessed then after you will be controlled by the doctor you have to follow the doctor's style you have to follow what doctor says and you are no more in your own way of sitting is clear so hard to retain your calm yeah when your finger nails are making serious alternation in your right line or left line or some other important line in your right palm now so it is hard to retain your calm you cannot keep quiet it is hard to retain in calm your calm means how to control your calm it is not an easy task when your finger nails are making serious alternation finger nails suppose the pain dental pain 
Yeah, when doctor is treating at that time painful side, very severe pain. If you are never going to treat at that time to control your pain, you have to what to do? That you have to touch your thing and uh, fingernails by your hand. Okay, when your fingernails are making yeah serious alternations, then you have to hold your palm. Yeah, then you have to. Uh, there is no other option but you have to hold your hand and hold your palm to tolerate when your fingernails are making serious alternations in your lifeline or love line or some other important line in your palm. Can you understand? What are the lines here? Your lifeline means your enjoying life, love line means your emotions, and other important lines, whatever you have, you are in control of your hand. Control your finger, okay? So hard to give your usual effect of cherry benign beauty when you know your position is one of the two or three in life most lacking in dignity. Now, so hard to give your usual effect. Yeah, what? Cherry and benign beauty means gentle. Uh, the quality of being kind and tolerant. Yeah, so hard to give your usual effect. Uh, quality of being kind and tolerant. It is hard to be tolerant. Yeah, it is very hard to be tolerant. It's clear? Let's see. Yeah, bearing, bearing dignity. When you know your position is one of the two or three in life, most lacking respect, lacking in dignity means no respect. In this position, you feel something odd, no more respect. Something very different, you cannot enjoy. It is very painful sight. Yeah, it is not so much good figure. Yeah, when you know your position, means how you are sitting. Yeah, it mentioned is one hour of the two or three, that position are not good at all. Very old, uh, old looking, very, suppose you are in uh, odd feelings, clear? And your mouth is like a section of road. Now, here the dentist makes the uh, it feels with just, you know, road is made with what? Uh, mixture of concrete, yeah, just like cement. Then uh, water and sand, etc. By mixing the huh, those who build these roads, they prepare in the same way the poet compares the key as the road. Yeah, just like a road is being made. And your mouth is like a section of road. Move a road. रास्ता है डेट इज बीइंग वर्क डन और उसमें काम चल रहा है देखना कोई रोड बनाते हैं गिट्टी बालू सीमेंट पानी मिला के क्या करते हैं मिक्स करते हैं और इसको ऊपर क्या मशीन चलाता है चलाते हैं और उसको प्लान करते हैं सो द पॉइंट कॉम्पेयर्स योर द आवर टीथ इज जस्ट लाइक ए माउथ इज जस्ट लाइक ए रोड एंड हाउ इट इज प्रिपेयर एंड इट इज ऑल क्लटर्ड ऑफ क्लटर्ड ऑफ मी फील्ड ऑफ With stone, क्या पत्थर भरा जाता है डू नो जैसे कि रोड में पहले पत्थर देते हैं हाँ स्टोन क्रशर मतलब पत्थर का जो प्रेस दिया जाता है देन आफ्टर कॉन्क्रीट दे के क्या किया जाता है मिक्स किया जाता है इन द सेम वे हियर वी सी दांत में भी वैसे ही पत्थर डाल के सीमेंट डाल के उसको क्रेशर जैसा मशीन में उसको प्रेस करके पूरा लाइन बना रोड बना जाता है इट इज सम सिमिलर थिंग्स वाट हैपन्स विद द रोड इट्स ओके एंड इट इज ऑल कलेक्टेड ऑफ विथ सम स्टोन क्रशर्स एंड कॉन्क्रीट मिक्सर्स एंड ड्रिल्स एंड स्टीम रोलर्स या वाट एवर रोलर इयर स्टीम रोलर्स जिन रोलर इज यूज टू मेक द रोड एंड हियर स्टीम आई वन ऑफ द a gaseous roller okay steam and there is not a nerve in your head that you are not being tricked out means 
hold your nerves in your head starts irritating paining because of this type of thing is you you know it is very good sign tumhara mood mein itna sara use aur machine ko chala ke agar ila chal raha hai to image imagine that whole body will be filled with pain yeah nerve in your head is all the nerve system in your head okay that you are not being irritated on irritated means irritated yeah irritated on oh some people are unfortunate enough to be strung up by thumbs some people means here some type of dentist so there are different types of dentists okay unfortunately very huh? uh, they are bad luck huh? enough to be strung up means very serious strung up means very serious by thumbs thumbs means here given a kind kind of punishment that was popular during the civil war in which the charge was suspended by his thumbs from the horizontal pole ya thumb ko charge kiya jata hai aur uske upar soche thumb mein agar marenge to kya guzrega ya and other sir things down to their gums ya aur koi koi gaun mein bhi kya karte hain aise hi punishment hota hai ya the punishment to the mouth punishment to the uh, body it is compared with one of once by time in civil war uh, in this uh, uh, time there was this type of punishment and here the poet says that similar type of pains so severe pain it is okay and your teeth are supposed to be being polished then after what to do then a road mane ko to police kiya jata hai yeah and same thing is used your police day and and you have reason to believe they are being what demolish means pull or knock over uske upar kuch khicha jata hai yeah and you have reason to believe they are being demolish demolish means to pull over a pull or knock down so you can imagine what a pathetic sight the poet feels and describes with the physical and mental pain when you go to the doctor, to the doctor dentist okay and the circumstances circumstances means some situations let's see that adds most of your terror is that it's all done with a mirror now not only this much money is spent the dentists have a mirror yeah so one of the fear at the time of the dentist to treat you and what he does in the mirror because the dentist may be a beer here dentist ko beer ke sath compare kiya hai dentist is here open me there bhalu ke sath compare kiya hai bhalu ka kaisa nature hai aur as the romans used to say only they were referring to feminine beer ek jo maada bhalu hai ya feminine beer when they said it an orsa ursa ursa who is one of the constellation female bear in the constellation yeah in zodiac sign we can see let's see here what is the nature of this bear let's see why poet mentions the dentist as a bear let's see what is the activity of bear you should learn yeah let's see then uh, what he does let's see but all the same how he can be sure when he takes his crowbar in one hand and mirror in the other he won't get mixed up the way do when you try to tie go tie with the aid of a mirror and forget that that left is right and vice versa yeah now you can imagine that bear had a cloud nakhun rehta hai yeah and when he attacks he scratches its hand and pulls them flesh okay you see here the poet describes the dentist as a bear okay let's see the similar way the dentist takes what one of the crowbar a uh, crowbar what is crowbar is the one like a iron bar that has a flattened end and is used as a lever okay and here it is it is used just like a uh, bear's fin that claws bear's 
these uh, hands let's see but all the same how can you be sure when he takes his crowbar in one hand and mirror in the other he won't get mixed up the way you do when you try to tie a bow tie with a head of a mirror okay try to tie a bow yeah bow do you know bow means yeah yeah just some red bow or bow or let's see with the head of mirror means a uh, mirror mein jo usko bandha gaya hai or and forget that yeah suppose the boy does see the right side in the mirror she looks left side if the dirty see left side then in the mirror looks like right side it is confused cannot uh, guess which uh, one by the right side or the left side you are going to do the work it is not clear to understand let's see and then at last he says that says that will be all yeah but it is not because he then puts your mouth from cellar to roof and then at last okay when the dentist finishes its work and his work is over let's see what he says that will be all yeah what but it is not because he then coats your mouth from cellar to roof yeah cellar to roof means down to top yeah roof to top niche se upar tak let's see we something that i suspect is generally used to put a sign of a roofs horse roof kya karta hai niche se upar aise jo ho karta hai what type of it is horse who who is the that uh, position what i have seen horse who is just like that and he makes this teeth just like the horse who put a sign on a horse who generally used to put a sign on, on a horse who yeah ki ghoda ka jo pair hai usi ke sath wo kar raha hai something that i suspect what i doubt generally used to put a sign ek roshni chhod de jata hai on a horse who kis mein ghode ki nishan mein yeah and the poet mentions the teeth just like that and you totter as ghoda ko hoop jaise ready ho gaya to kaise chalta hai just moves and you totter your feet and thing you totter means uh, you move your feet and thing just like ghoda ka pair hai to is chal ke dekhte ho to daant ko bhi aise ragad ke dekhte ho ki it is working or not yeah and you totter your feet and thing when it's all over now after completing all this making this teeth and uh, repair the teeth or the the cure of this teeth now work is over yeah why well, it's all over now and after all it was only these ones okay i don't know what is okay now your teeth is okay now fine you are okay now you are cured from these things and he says come back in three months here months is used in actually pronunciation month is used months why poet has used to rhyme the word with once months months is not a english word but poet to make it rhyme he has permits taken permission of the english okay the word has been misspelled by the poet to rhyme with once months month once month means all looking that's why poets a uh, poetic permission they can a uh, misspelled of the some words to make the poem more run to continue yeah so months is no word but month after three months he see that you come back means you are okay for three months that means do you think after three months you will come me say ki maybe other problem don't think that you are totally okay can you imagine and this oh fat 
फैडीज इज बैड लॉग फैड इज वेरी इज बैड लॉग आर नॉट गुड फॉर्चुनेट्स इज आई थिंक द मोस्ट वीसियस सर्कल वीसियस सर्कल मीन्स ए कंटिन्यूइंग ऑन प्लेजेंट सिचुएशन वन वन प्रॉब्लम लीड्स टू अनदर या वन प्रॉब्लम इज द कॉज ऑफ अनदर प्रॉब्लम एक बीमारी है तो दूसरी बीमारी को लाता है एक मुसीबत दूसरी मुसीबत को लाता है या वन प्रॉब्लम इज गॉन मीन्स अनदर प्रॉब्लम विल ऑल्सो कॉम डोंट थिंक दैट यू विल बी ऑलवेज ओके यू थिंक दैट आई एम नाउ गुड इन हेल्थ बट अनदर समे यू मे कॉम विद अनदर डिजीज या लाइफ इज नॉट सटन सो दैट इज कॉल फैट एंड दिस वो फैट I think the most vicious circle that thou, thou means you, ever sent, sentest. Do you know sentest dentist? To rhyme, the poet has used sentest, but actually what is sent? To rhyme with the word dentist, sentest. Huh? The writer, the poet has the writing permission of the English. Okay. So it's clear. Uh, oh, Freddy! I think the most vicious circle means most continuing and unpleasant situation that thou art sent. So in the life, we have the very unpleasant time also come. So we cannot certain, we cannot say that we are always good in condition. That man has to go continually. Yeah. So because one problem is gone, then another teeth may arise. One more problem may arise. You. man has to go continually to the dentist to keep his teeth in good condition when the chief reason he wants his teeth in good condition is so that he won't have to go to dentist now let's see you go to the dentist to cure your teeth but it one second defect or the problem you go But what do you think that I have to be totally cured that I can go to dentist? Yeah? When the chief vision he wants his teeth in good condition is so that he won't have to go to dentist. Yeah, but dentist may be something hoping that he they think that you may come in you know, once in three months means maybe their business may they think that uh, they how can they survive? Yeah, but we think that we should be totally cured. That we should no need to go to teeth because we can imagine that in the dentist hospital, huh, physical and mental pain. Yeah, it is very unbearable. That at the time both the thing, physical and mental means uh, lots of suffering. Yeah, you are you have no respect. Dentist views as a just like a uh, roughly, and it is not very suitable to you. And I hope you. the poem i have uh, go, gone through and i have discussed along this poem repeatedly read this poem and practice at home because something the lengthy poem so you needs more reading and more practice of this poem and whatever uh, i have explained i hope that you will better understand and see you once again in the next class so have a good day and goodbye